What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be resuming some work on our Audi C4 S4. As you guys know from the prior episodes, we no longer have our stock latching system for the trunk. So today we're gonna to get started by installing these aero catch fasteners. So the way this system works is pretty simple. You have your strike pin and this will get mounted on the chassis and then you have this bump stop right here. You can adjust the height of that and then you have this latch that is going to be mounted flush with the panel and that pin is going to get inserted into this when you close the panel. And the cool thing is when it's open this part will flip open so it will be pretty obvious that your panel isn't latched. So we're gonna get started by installing this pin. I think I'm gonna install it right here. So all you have to do is drill a hole and then poke this through. And we'll adjust the height using two nuts. So you have a nut on the top and then we'll secure it with a nut on the bottom. You'll adjust the height and then mark it with some sort of wax or Vaseline or paint so that when you close your panel, it'll make contact and then you'll have an idea of where to drill that pilot. So now that we have our pilot hole, we're gonna mark the template using this nut holder over here. And this is actually probably the hardest part of the install. You just wanna be patient with this. This hole isn't gonna be the center of this holder right here. It's actually gonna be somewhere more over here. The distance from the center of these nuts horizontally should be 30 millimeters. And then vertically, they should be 22. So I cut it with the jigsaw and then I trimmed it with the Dremel and after all that work this panel will finally fit through and it should be flush. Alright so there you have it. We have our pin reinstalled and we know that it lines up nicely with the latch and everything appears to be working. So now we're just gonna finalize this install by drilling our six holes and putting the nut holder underneath. And there you have it, fully installed latch. Everything is good to go on this side. We just have to repeat it on the right side. Now that we're done with the trunk latches, we can move on to the exciting part of this episode, and that is building our race car style fuse box. So it's basically gonna be a panel that's always accessible to the driver. So we're gonna have a kill switch. Uh, we're gonna have all of our switches and relays, uh, and it's all gonna be very close to the driver. So what I did was take out the stock climate control area, all the radio stuff, and I made a little template out of cardboard which I then traced onto aluminum and cut it out to fill in as a blank. And what we're gonna do from here is start drilling holes and cutting out some pieces for where we're gonna fit our fuse block. So let me just show you how that aluminum came out first. So as you can see, it came out pretty nice. It fits pretty cleanly. So now what we're gonna do, like I said, is just cut out holes for all of our components that we'll be installing on it. I have my ground bus bar, my fuse block with my five micro relays and 10 fuses. I also have five switches right here. Um, I have some LEDs as well to indicate the status of those switches. I don't think I have five circuits right now out of the box to control, but I will drill the holes. Uh, that way I won't have to worry about that later. We'll have two gauges over here. We'll have wide band and boost. And then we have our battery disconnect switch right here. I also think I'm gonna try to make a spot for this hazard switch, but that's the general idea. So I'm just gonna mark everything down, drill out some holes, and then uh, get back to you.
here is the final result so far. As you can see, we laid everything out. Super accessible and easy to read. We have our hazard switch, our relays and fuses, our five switches over here, our battery disconnect, AF and boost gauges. And that is gonna do it for today's episode. I'm still gonna paint the panel black just to make it look super clean. And of course we have to wire everything up, which I'm gonna walk through in the next episode. So that should be super informative. Hope you guys are enjoying this track car build. Please consider subscribing if so. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.